What's going on everybody, Jake the Programmer here. In today's video, we have something a little bit different. So last year in August, there was a lawsuit for a programming bootcamp and it was under Clever Programmer. And basically what happened is Clever Programmer was promising people that, hey, if you take my bootcamp, you can get a job at companies like Google, Facebook, Apple with just a few months of learning. Now, why is this important? Why am I bringing this up now? Because things like this are still happening. People are still being led to believe that they can get high paying tech jobs with just a few months of learning. And it's an ongoing problem going on within the developer community, especially with those just learning how to code. So let's kind of get an understanding of what happened. In eye-catching and entertaining videos on YouTube and ads on social media, Clever Programmer claims its coding training programs can lead to six-figure jobs with top companies like Apple, Google, and Netflix. But the lawsuit alleges that that is not happening. Instead, students end up with large debts and lack the expected job skills or opportunities. And guys, it's sad because people, you know, want to get into the programming industry and hoping to change their lives, but they don't want to be given false promises. Let's watch this uh, news article that was actually done on the lawsuit. And a job as a computer programmer at companies like Apple and Google with only a few months of training. But now a new lawsuit claims students who signed up pay thousands of dollars for empty promises. Channel 2 consumer investigator Justin Gray talked to a student and an attorney. The classes cost anywhere from ten dollars to $20,000. This new lawsuit alleges that clever programmer promises you can get a job at any of the big tech companies here in Midtown. You can see the Google Tower there. But instead, the lawsuit alleges people are ending up with just big debts. Put together an incredible training for you that'll help you become a six-figure developer. Just a few months of online training to become a high-paid computer programmer. That's the pitch that Clever Programmer makes, and it's entertaining and eye-catching YouTube videos and social media ads. I can't even explain how hyped we all were at the beginning. We were so excited. The sales pitch convinced Adrian Harris to sign up. She wanted to switch careers, but she now owes Clever Programmer more than $20,000. Because you said you were going to teach us and, you know, we have class and no one's here or we have class and the guy doesn't know what to teach us. This new lawsuit filed by more than a dozen Clever Programmer students nationwide claims Clever Programmer does not live up to its big promises. To imply that you can learn this stuff in half a year and go out and make that kind of money, is just, frankly, is false. And the problem is, if you're not in the programming space, you don't know any better. You think that this is true. The suit alleges that Clever Programmer classes didn't provide the promised training and that staff convinced students to take out loans to pay ten dollars to $15,000 for those courses. They have a very high pressure sales pitch in addition to feeling defeated or discouraged we were feeling really really stupid now there are a lot of companies out there with similar classes the big take home here is that any program offering this kind of training in only a few months you have to be skeptical about because these are skills that take years to develop and he hit it right on the nail there. Uh, any program, any YouTuber, anybody who's pitching you a course that, hey, you can learn how to code in just three to four months or even six months, it, it's absolutely bonkers. In fact, I, I even tried reaching out to that same person, Adrian Harris, uh, and unfortunately they weren't able to talk about the lawsuit in its entirety because it is an active going lawsuit. I did get some things that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, I was promised a six to eight months, I would be a fully trained, full stack developer, with their training and after completion of the program. I would also receive job placement and assistance. None of that happened. Some of us had slightly different promises made. My cohort started June with 51 faces and ended with just 12, just as they decided to combine the June and July cohorts, bringing the total number of students around 20. The original instructor for the June cohort left. There was a substitute instructor that had no idea what to teach a class because they didn't know where we were in the subject matter. One substitute teacher left the class in Zoom break for a solid two hours. The July instructor took off for a few weeks and then brought in a new teacher and literally ghosted the class mid-lecture without announcing anything. The new teacher told students to look up answers on Google because he didn't, he couldn't waste time explaining due to the cohort being so far behind. It started off well enough despite the size, but then it all fell apart. Everything just turned out to be empty promises. Guys, this is an ongoing 
scheduling problem. Coding boot camps giving people false promises. YouTubers trying to pitch learning how to code but not telling you the real truth about the difficulties and what it takes to learn how to code. That's why at Dev Slopes, we don't promise that. We're not gonna we're not gonna lie to you and tell you, hey, you can get a job in just a few months of learning how to code. It doesn't work that way. Now, granted, there are some unicorns out there that can learn a lot faster, but if you don't have everything you need in order to learn how to code, it's not gonna happen. And what this didn't even touch on is that there's also something called income share agreements. A lot of people are looking to make career changes, especially people that have full-time jobs, families, things that they have to take care of. They don't have time to go to a university or uproot their lives and join a coding boot camp. So things like this are a big step for people. And then lastly, not everyone just has 20 to $30,000 to throw at a coding boot camp, let alone uproot their lives and go stay at a place for two to three months with no income. It's just not realistic. So keep in mind these things whenever you're looking into your programming journey and the things that you need in order to become a developer. Because us here at Dev Soaps will be the first to say, learning to code is not an easy process and it's definitely not something you can do in three to six months. Now it is a lot faster than say becoming a nurse and going to college for four years, but still you're gonna have to spend 16 to 18 months learning and that's on average. So guys, this video is just short and sweet. I wanted to bring that into light and make sure that you guys understand coding is not a get rich quick scheme and it's not something that can happen in just three to six months and any program course or YouTube guru out there that says that it can happen is blatantly lying to your face. That's a false. No, what I could just lie. And I want to promise you guys that us here at DevSlips will never, ever make those kinds of false promises. It takes a lot to get a job at Google. It takes a lot to get a job at Amazon. It takes a lot to get a job at any fang company. It takes a lot to get a job as a programmer at any company in general. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Jake the Programmer here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.